Hello there, my name is Plumpy and I'm so excited to be bringing you the creator sim for my brand new Sims 4 Supernatural slash Werewolves Let's Play. This is very, very long overdue. I announced that I'd be doing this Let's Play a couple weeks ago now, so I do apologise that it has taken a while to kind of release the creator sim. To be honest, there were lots of different decisions being made by me when it came to this let's play because I had all these ideas that I wanted to do for my werewolves let's play and I just couldn't stick with one to be completely honest and I was kind of like in a creating sim slump. <laughs> if you will, like I couldn't create sims which I which I adored and which I really connected to you. so I was really struggling with that and I had all these ideas and lots of them I kind of just threw away and decided not to go through with it but my new kind of plan for this let's play is that it is going to be a cozy and semi wholesome levels let's play and that's the vibe I'm going for. I know I did initially say that I would be doing a let's play which is very drama filled and have the story being the main focus and although I do have a story written down for this let's play I will be doing some storytelling in this I kind of just haven't been in the mood to be completely honest to do a let's play with lots of drama and I'm kind of hoping that this will be my comfort let's play and my comfort sims and my comfort household like the honey brews are. I don't know, I just, I really wanted to create a let's play which is really cozy but still kind of bringing in those werewolves and that kind of supernatural vibe. So that is what this is kind of gonna be about. So I created a family today which I just really wanted to do. I really missed family gameplay. I think this is because I haven't played with the Honey Brews for a while but also all the Honey Brew siblings have grown up now so I don't really have any of that family gameplay which I'm so desperate to have. So I did create a family for this let's play. These are the Dawn family. Their surname is Dawn. I was originally going to make their surname Dusk as I feel like that would be more fitting with the vampires but I decided to stick with Dawn because I don't know it just sounds so pretty. So we have Phoebe Dawn, Benjamin Dawn and their daughter Luna Dawn along with the three dogs. So we are creating Phoebe first and Phoebe is oh gosh I love her. <laughs> I love her so much. I'm actually really really happy because as I did say I've been in a little bit of a creator, creator sim slump at the moment but when I created Phoebe I just instantly connected with her character and I instantly just fell in love with her and who she is and and I just like was obsessed with her and it's like I knew exactly what her style was exactly you know what she would wear and I was just so happy with that so I uh, completely adore Phoebe and she is my favorite sim I did create today and she's also so freaking adorable she's absolutely gorgeous and I just love her currently the dawns are of course living in a moonwood mill Despite this being a supernatural let's play, it's kind of taking more of a werewolf turn, but I will hopefully be incorporating some more of the other occult sims later on in this let's play. Phoebe is currently at university, but as a part-time job, she is selling the things that she knits. So that is kind of her main hobby. And also the things that, that she creates because she really enjoys candle making. She really enjoys fabricating things. She's very handy, I'd say. That's kind of her main hobby. So right now her kind of side job is kind of creating things and then selling them so she can of course afford to support her family whilst also being able to afford university. Phoebe is currently studying economics I believe because she wants to become a teacher so that is what I am getting her to study because I believe you have to do the economics degree uh, in The Sims 4 to become a teacher so she's currently doing that degree she's always wanted to become a teacher so this is definitely her kind of completing her dream and her aspiration is the academic one. She's always been a huge fan of studying and school and she's always adored it. Phoebe and Ben are both quite young, like in my head they're maybe 23 and I'm just going to say that Luna is maybe three years old so they did have Luna a couple years ago and because of that Phoebe didn't really have time to kind of go to university and Phoebe also spent a lot of time after graduating high school supporting her family because her mother and her father fell very sick so she had to spend the majority of her time kind of caring for them and kind of working a lot to provide for them but now that her and Benjamin 
are married and they are in quite a comfortable position she now has the time to complete her dream of going to university and doing all that she is very ambitious she always has been but she's also very family oriented her daughter luna means everything to her family means everything to her benjamin means everything to her and she loves them both ever so much she's also an insider she loves hanging out with people she has a lot of clubs that she's part of you know she's part of lots of cooking clubs because she's also a big foodie she loves food so much she loves cooking she loves food she comes from a family of foodies so it kind of rubbed off on her and of course she also is a maker as well so you may have already noticed but phoebe is actually human she is not a werewolf nor a vampire nor a spellcaster she is just a human and she grew up on the outskirts of moonwood mill and she actually went to high school with Ben, but they never really knew each other. They kind of met after high school and she kind of, when falling in love with him, she ended up kind of falling <laughs> into the whole werewolf world. And as we can imagine, she was quite shocked when, you know, discovering it all, but now it's just very, very much normal to her because of course she does live with a werewolf or technically two werewolves because Luna is a werewolf as well. So I think this is a good segue on to talking about her husband, Ben, who is so lovely. I adore him. I think he is such a sweetheart and such a cute sim. So Benjamin is all about family. He wants to be a super parent. That is his aspiration. He absolutely adores Luna and he just wants to be the best parent he can be. He also loves dogs. So he's a big dog parent as well. Ben is a very nurturing sim. I think both Ben and Phoebe are both very nurturing sims, but I feel like Ben is just a little bit more nurturing <laughs> than Phoebe. He not only loves taking care of children but he also loves taking care of dogs <laughs> as well so he does have the dog lover trait he is also very very neat he likes his house to be nice and tidy but he likes it to not be like minimalistic if that makes any sense at all like he likes luna's doll house to be on display he likes her toys to be on display but he likes them to be inside like a, a toy box he likes things to be neat but in a very organized mess type of way if that makes any sense at all <laughs> I don't know why he just strikes would strike me as a sim who still likes his home to feel very lived in but he also likes to be organized i think that's the word that i'm looking for lived in <laughs> he's also a geek he adores video games in his spare time he is always playing video games he adores like sci the sci-fi genre he's just like a big geek in general and i haven't used that trait for a while so i use it on him and he's also very cheerful he's always so bubbly and he's always got a huge smile on his face and he's like walking sunshine he's just absolutely amazing he also really enjoys enjoys handiness so he does like enjoy doing wooden sculptures of things that's another one of his hobbies he also really likes singing and playing the guitar which is so adorable and yeah he's, he's a big fan of singing and playing the guitar and currently he is working as a freelance programmer and that is his job that he's currently doing he likes being a freelancer because then he can spend as much time as possible working at home with luna and of course with phoebe because phoebe's currently doing her university from home. Benjamin comes from a very, very loving family of werewolves. His two mums were always very, very lovely to him and they always taught him about, you know, kindness and also they just had like, they have like a really close knit relationship. So I think that definitely did rub off on Ben and made him want to have that same kind of close knit relationship with his children because his, him and his family were ever so close. He's always had quite um, a nice life. I think he's definitely had an easier life than Phoebe because Phoebe did have to, you know, take care of her parents a lot uh, when she was younger and I think that definitely did add a lot of stress but nothing too crazy has happened really in either of their lives but I adore them both <laughs> ever so much. I think they're so lovely and I'm so proud of how they turned out. And now we of course have to discuss Dawn. So Dawn is um, a very, very charismatic, kind of outgoing and inquisitive toddler she loves exploring things she loves discovering things she's also very wild she always has a lot of energy you know she always wants to be doing something going somewhere and she's just really amazing and she's i love her so much she's also so adorable i love the outfits i gave her i wanted to kind of make the outfits look like phoebe dressed her but also Ben, you can kind of see the influence of Phoebe on Luna um, in the way she dresses, but also the influence of Ben, which I just think is so adorable. And Luna is also a werewolf as well. And they do have three dogs. They have their dogs Howl, Mooney, and Hunter, and those are their dogs, which are all very adorable. Ben is a huge dog lover, so of course he has to have. <laughs> 
a lot of dogs and we'll probably be adopting more in the let's play so those are the dawns i hope you love them as much as i do and i hope you are excited for this new let's play i'm not exactly sure how long it is going to kind of run for it is going to have a storyline kind of weaved into it but it's also just going to be very kind of relaxing laid back family gameplay as well i know i did do like a whole 180 on my plan for my kind of werewolf slash supernatural let's play so i do apologize for that it's just right now i am in the mood for something like this and creating content like this so of course i am going to go down this route when it comes to the new let's play i'm not going to completely say that there won't be any drama though when i am doing this let's play because as i said i do have a storyline although it's not a big one i do have one and would definitely be seeing the other supernatural sims kind of come in to the let's play through this storyline which has a little bit of drama to it but we'll, we'll just see i'm kind of want to go with the flow with this let's play honestly i kind of just want to see what happens let me know your thoughts on this let's play and on the dawns i am so excited my next video will be probably episode one so do keep an eye out for that i will definitely be posting some posts on the community tab and on twitter kind of promoting it if you will and saying when the episode will be up for watching <laughs> thank you ever so much for watching this video and if you did enjoy do not forget to leave a like and subscribe we'd love to have you join the plum family and i'll be seeing you all in the next video